OK, the next step of solving the Rubik's Cube, and the final step, is solving the remaining corners. Now that we've done all of the edges and three of the corners, there are five more corners left to solve. Now this one is already solved, um, but it makes no difference. You have your edge p that you've been working with, and in this case we're going to do the rest of the corners. The way this works is you now take the cube and you turn it upside down and your edge and keep your edge that you're working on in this side. The point is that when we do the algorithm we know that these two swap and these two will swap and every time we do it six times we'll be back where we started. Now that means these two are going to swap in sets of six whilst we use these ones and because we know it, um, the edges will move in this fashion and set themselves uh, up again we know that since 3 divides 6 the edges will be in the right position at the same time we correct these two so what you need to do is you need to look at this piece here and look to see where it goes in the bottom layer if it doesn't need to go in the bottom layer you need to swap it with something in the bottom layer so this piece here needs to go between the green and the red what we do is we rotate the green and the red piece in here and now we very carefully do the algorithm remember it's got four moves to it clockwise, clockwise, anticlockwise, anticlockwise over and over and over again very carefully remembering the last move until that edge is solved we then move this across and again we need to position this piece which is red and blue between the red and the blue we can see that that is just one lot doing it, doing the algorithm backwards. And now we've got the situation where this blue red piece has white, which means it belongs in the top layer. So what we do is we swap it with the corner that's remaining, and it just so happens that this corner belongs in this slot anyway. We know that we do it one, two, three more times, and we've gotten lucky this time that we're on the right cycle because we're completely solved. So in the next video I will show you what happens when you get to the last pair, when you correct everything else, and these two are twisted.